What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's video, we're going over another pair of work gloves. Today on the chopping block are the Carhartt rubber gloves. I love these gloves. If you want to hear what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right, these are the Carhartt C-Grip Impact Gloves, and these things go for $16.99. Now, these have been through almost three full seasons of firewood cutting, and they show a lot of wear and tear, but firewood cutting is one of the most brutal things that you can put a pair of gloves through. So I am starting to see a little bit of separation from the rubber and the uh, fabric opening here in the fingers. Um, this fabric mesh here in the, in the sides of each finger, keep your hands fairly cool. Um, if you're used to wearing any rubber gloves, you know that they just hold in the moisture and the sweat from your hands and you end up turning into, you know, pools of water in your gloves. So this definitely does away with that, and these allow a lot of uh, that moisture to be wicked away and let your hands breathe. So they have a really cool uh, look to them. They are very form-fitting. Uh, they're pretty ambient, or they're pretty, uh, you have a lot of dexterity is what I'm trying to say. You have a lot of dexterity with these gloves. Um, they're not just like huge chemical glove mitts or anything like that. So I really enjoy these. And for 17 bucks, uh, they're a pretty good buy. So the rubber holds up very well. Um, it is very, very grippy. So if you're looking to, uh, or you're looking for a glove that has a lot of grip and you're just trying to otherwise, uh, you know, protect your hands, but still grip stuff and, you know, have a good glove that keeps up with what you're doing. Um, I've used these for demolition. Uh, I'm barely seeing anywhere. Uh, they're a pretty darn good pair of gloves. Um, I recommend them. I know they don't work for some people. Um, I, I'm very picky about my gloves. And this is just one of those pairs that, you know, I do enjoy wearing. They're a little bit of a pain in the butt to get off. So only con is that you literally have to pull it finger by finger to get them off. Um, I didn't think that I would be a fan of the tight collar here or the tight cuff. Um, I, I don't like stuff tight around my wrist. I don't like to uh, use the Velcro strap on any glove. So this tight cuff was you know, something that I was worried about, but it's very comfortable and they do pretty darn good. So for 17 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong on this if you're searching for this pair of gloves or, you know, a, a pretty darn good pair of gloves for the money. You know, these have lasted a lot more or a lot longer than any mechanics gloves or, uh, you know, those higher end gloves that are double the price. So not bad. For the money, I think the value is 100% there. The durability is just awesome, a 10 out of 10. And they're just plain good. So I hope you guys like the tabletop review. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. A quick down and dirty one for you guys, just to show you a great pair of gloves that I really enjoy. So I won't take up a lot more of your time. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.